Here's an AMI This Week shortcut with Alex Smythe. I want to welcome you to the Media Day preview for the 2019 Canadian International Auto Show. Thank you very much for being here. One of the main features of Media Day at the Auto Show is learning the winners of the major awards chosen by the Automobile Journalists Association of Canada, or AJAC for short. First up was Car of the Year. The winner is, it's the Kia Stinger. Hey! Kia winning this award was a major coup for the company. It was the first time the Korean manufacturer has taken home the prestigious trophy. Another first happened in the Utility of the Year category, where an all-electric vehicle captured the top prize. And the winner is... The future is here, folks. The Jaguar I-Pace. Now that all the hardware has been given out, it's time to explore the show. My first stop was the Jaguar Land Rover booth to learn more about the award-winning iPACE, which includes a piece of technology that will benefit the blind and partially sighted, as outlined in its promotional video. Our system basically infills the noise at low speeds that's missing when you replace the combustion engine with a, an electric motor. We're going to give more acoustic information to, uh, to pedestrians and road users. While this innovation is tremendous for our community, the real reason electric vehicles have blown up in recent years, as John Lindo from Jaguar Land Rover pointed out, is due to the increased distance they can travel between charges. With a range of 377 kilometers, it gives you plenty of range and you can charge this at home or the office and you're, you're good to go pretty much anywhere. I don't know if we're gonna go all electric one day, but it's definitely, you know, it's definitely part of our future plans and more and more manufacturers are coming out with electric vehicles. Hyundai is one of those manufacturers. They had several electric vehicles on display at the show. And while I was checking them out, I ran into John Francois Taylor from Hyundai Canada. He told me the car maker isn't putting all their eggs in one basket when it comes to alternative fuel. We are currently in Canada, the only automotive manufacturer that's playing in four alternative powertrain spaces. They offer traditional hybrid, plug-in hybrids, which allow you to charge your battery without running your combustible engine, full electric, and maybe the most promising, hydrogen vehicles. We are actually just brought out our second generation fuel cell, and we're the only ones that can say that as well, in our new Nexo. Uh, and that's 595 kilometers of range, obviously only on hydrogen, and the only byproduct from that vehicle is pure water that comes out of the back. While a car that only creates water as waste is very cool, the thing I'm most interested in at this year's show are the autonomous vehicles. And while Hyundai didn't have exactly what I was looking for, they are making strides in that realm. A lot of people are currently taking it a bit too far. You're picturing a sci-fi movie, you know, where the car can do everything and anything. Currently, it shouldn't be doing that. What it should be doing is assisting the driver in driving more safely and keeping an eye out for dangerous situations. It knows your speed and it knows that the car in front of you is dead stop before you have noticed it with your eye. It's that kind of thing. And that's where it's really, really useful. So actually our Palisade, which we just revealed today, that has our newest generation of highway driving assist. Instead of the old systems that would reference the two lines that you're driving between and then kind of ping pong slowly between them, now the system is using geometry and generating that geometry to trace that imaginary center line and now it's fixed to that center line. The next step with highway driving assist is you now add navigation data. If you already have a navigation system in there, why can't you use it to enhance that driving uh, scenario? So it's, it's really quite impressive. Hyundai weren't the only ones showing off their semi-autonomous features at the show. James Nava of Cadillac Canada introduced me to Super Cruise. It's an amazing technology that essentially allows the driver uh, to take their hands off the steering wheel and let the car do the driving for them on the highway. So it keeps it in the lane. It also has an amazing technology that, that um, captures their face and what, where they're looking. So if the driver ever looks away from the road, it'll alert you first of all. Uh, try and get your attention back to the road. If you don't focus your attention back to the road, it will slowly uh, slow the car down and eventually stop it. Absolutely, it's for safety. And, and when we look at where GM is going from a, from a corporate perspective, uh, it is really zero crashes, zero emissions, zero congestion. 
We think it's important as you look to the future and where uh, automotive is going, there's more and more distracted driving that could potentially happen, more hazards on the road, and semi-autonomous becomes very important uh, from a customer perspective. So while I wasn't able to find a completely autonomous vehicle at the 2019 Canadian International Auto Show, I was introduced to some pool precursors that give me hope. Maybe next year?